Moore's millions times then leg three. I think there's just one leg this week. This is only three mile five furlongs, so it's the shorter of the two Moore's millions. And there's a small field as well because there's a lot of long distance races this week. Shamadal Phantom and Maritza for Thomas Rogers. Dick Castanier for James Shea. Robin Knights for Darren Thompson. Fearless Amy for Ryan Tamasevi. Lord Butt for Jim Murray. Pondering Pope for Graham Clutterbuck. Lily Branches and Put the Kettle On for David Hooley. And Labanese for Craig Beckwith. So, one or two colour clashes here. Uh, a couple of trainers got two in, and a couple of trainers got similar colours. So they're called in, and away they go. And Dick Castanea is just going to lead them into the first, which they're all sacred to the other side of. 22 more to take. Uh, racing past the somewhat Spartan crowd, and they're going to go around another twice. Well, it's Lord Bot who's gone on then, as we've seen them race away from us. Now we're back on. Back on top of them again, Dick Castaner in the green with the red cap. Lord Butt in the black with the red cap and the red sleeves. Widest on the track is Fearless Amy in the red and blue as they take that next one. And Lord Butt and Fearless Amy both made mistakes at that one. And they need to brush up on their jumper as they come into this ditch. And they're all safe to go that one. They it nicely. So it looks like Dick Castaner is going to settle down into the lead from Shamadal Phantom and Maritza. In between them, Robin Knights and Lord Button Labanese. After that, wide on the track, he is fearless. Amy put the kettle on and Lily Branches, the two in the purple, as they get over that next one. And Graham Clutterbuck's pondering poet is just about the bat marker. So Dick Castanier clear by about three to Shamadal Phantom and Maritza as they get over that one. A mistake again by Lord Butt on the inside. Castanier going one and off in the lead. Maritz is just about moving to second ahead of Shamadal Phantom. I'm pretty sure it was around last season as they get over number six. Uh, Lily Branches is just about the back marker. But they're all still standing as they come to this ditch. And they're all over that one nicely as well with Deck Castanier opening up into a five length lead now. With Maritz back in second and then Pondering Poet has moved through from the back to take third place as they get over fence number eight. Castaner appears to be getting through the clear. Probably good six or seven in front now as they come down towards the next. And it's a good old run to it as they come around this turn. And Deck Castaner is in front. Robin Knights is second and Pondering Poet is third. Shamad Alphans and Maritza just dropped back a little bit. Lord Butt is going up on the inside. Fearless Amy is still sticking to the outside of the track, which is closest to us. And Labanese has dropped back a little bit in the purple jacketed pair. Put the kettle on under the branches of the back too. But it's still Dick Castor there. Jockey just, just easing off on that one a little bit. Only probably five clear now. And there's still a long, long way to go. You can see the standing the distance when they've got to get all the way to there and then round again. So there's Dick Castor there. He's going to have to be in the lead for a long way if he's going to win this. If Pondering Poet wide on the track with Fearless Amy, maybe those two think there's better ground up the centre of the track as they get over that one. See them over it nicely. The ragged top of the fence there. And it's Dick Castanier in front. As they race down towards the next, we're going to do a bit of jockey coming on the leader. You can see he jumped that well. And they were on the back, well, one of the back markers, Labanese. one then we'll see the leader got over it nicely and all the others did as well and so too did Labanese jumped it well and made a couple of lengths in the air go past the stand then and take this fence it'll be the last next time round and that time it was a bad jump by Labanese but it's Dick Castanier who's in the lead and Cecil B. De Mill has enjoyed himself today as we'll see them racing away from us Pondering Poet is second, Lord Butt is on the inside in third, Fearless Amy is fourth, then Shamadal Phantom, Maritz and Lily Branches, Labanese, and finally put the kettle on as they take number 13. Which they've all safely got over as well. So they're all still on their feet, they're all going well. But Dick Castanea is clear. And over that ditch. 
doesn't appear to be stopping at the moment. Mile and a half still to go. And well clear of pondering poet and Lord Butt. Feel the same, he's still running very wide on the track. That must be being done on purpose. And Dick Castaner. Not had anything within a two or three lengths of it yet, I don't think, in this race, but they're starting to get a little bit close. A mistake there by Lily Branches. I think that one's already fallen at least once this season, and Dick Castaner is the leader. But on the inside, Lord Butt's going to get a nice little sweep round that turn, and he's going to get to within two lengths. Down to the 16th, they go, then Lord Butt dropped that one in the second mistake by Fiona Same, and another mistake by Lily Branches. But it's Dick Castaner in the lead, but only by two now. So Lord Butt in second, Pondering Poet is third, Shamadal Phantom is fourth, they get over number 17. Dick Castaner leads not as big, but he still seems to be going well in front. Over this ditch, then good jump and a better jump on the inside by Lord Butt. These two leaders both jumping well. Lord Butt might be just about to shade it then now as they come round this turn. Then back in third is Pondering Poet. Labanese is coming with a run. Over this 19th they go, and Lord Butt got away from that one really well and is now a couple of lengths up on the long side leader. Dick Castaner. Dick Castaner suddenly looks to be labouring, and Lord Butt has quickly gone too clear. Dick Castaner is trying to fight back. Here comes Pondering Poet. And Labanese, Fearless Amy's trying to get into it, so too's Robin Knight, Shamadal Phantoms after that one, then put the kettle on Lily Branches, Maritz has disappeared, but it's Lord Buttons in the lead, Dick Castanier is trying to fight back, there's still a long way to go, and Lord Butt is in the lead by a length, two in second place, Dick Castanier, then Pondering Poet and Labanese, as we see them racing away again, then there, um, Lord Butt's only about a neck up again now, as Dick Castanier gets a second wind, it's Lord Butt in the lead, Dick Castanier is second, Pondering Poet third, Labanese and Robin Knight's four and five. Then comes Fearless Amy. Lily Branches is starting to run on. Then Shaman Al Phantom and put the kettle on probably out of it, Maritza. But it's Dick Castanier who's just about got back into the lead again. But Lord Butt's got the inside. They've still got four more fences to take. And it's Lord Butt in the lead. Coming to the fourth last. Over it they go. Lord Butt lands just in front. Here comes Fearless Amy on the outside. Lily Branches is throwing out a big challenge there. Dick Castanier is trying to fight back. It's four in a line. It's probably between these four, I think, as they race down towards the third last. And it's Lord Butt and Lily Branches. Dick Castanier third. Fearless Amy fourth. Over the third last. They go and a better jump by Lily Branches. Lily Branches lands in the lead. Lily Branches then racing down towards the final two fences. It's Lily Branches in front from Dick Castanier and Lord Butt. Fearless Amy's trying to reel them in, then put the kettle on to come with a run on the outside. Also trying to get back into it is Shamanal Phantom, but it's Lily Branches in front. Lily Branches, two to jump. Further on a half to go. Lily Branches being pressed by Fearless Amy. Over the second last they go. Fearless Amy might have landed just in the lead. Pondering Boat's gone. It's Fearless Amy now in front, going out towards the final fence. It's Fearless Amy on the near side. Dick Castanier fighting back on the far side. In between the two, Lily Branches at the final fence. Fearless Amy lands in the lead. Fearless Amy under strong pressure, but look at this Dick Castanier. Dick Castanier fighting back. Here comes Shamadel Phantom. Put the kettle on. It's close. It's close past the post. Goodness me. Three miles and five furlongs, and virtually four in a line as they flash past the post. Did Dick Castanier get back up to take it? I think it may have done. Whew, look at that. It's like almost five in a line. That's some performance if Dick Castaner has managed to win that because it was um it looked like it was beaten at least twice. And it's taken it. Dick Castaner off top weight is not not quite top weight. Dick Castaner for James Shea takes it then. And second was Fearless Amy for Ryan Tamasebi. Put the kettle on for David Hooley was third. Shamel Phantom Thomas Rogers was fourth. And Robin Knights for Darren Thompson was fifth. And that was a pretty impressive performance there. You can see that the one of the two that looked like they were going to win it at one point ended up right out the back. But really good performance from Dick Castanier.